All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth, and double citations to all you Akim out there laboring, the house of David, the elect that's pushing this word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers, and Shalom to the elect. I'm back with another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit, the Rakakwadash. And just like the Lord told us, as we were commanded, pursuing Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17, the Lord said, give them warning from me. So we're not going to stop warning you, and we're going to continue to prophesy until this new form of payment comes to pass. This micro C hip, this new way of buying and selling. So what we have here is more gradualism towards the MOTB. This video came out two days ago. This is from CBS News. It says Palm Payment Technology. Palm Payment Technology coming to all U.S. Whole Foods. All right. The implementation of this B system, this new form of buying and selling, as you see here. Everything is leading to this uh, and to this uh, uh to the C hip. It's all going to be tied and connected. <laughs> Soon you will be able to pay for groceries at every Whole Foods in the U.S. with just a swipe of your hand. Amazon says that the pay by palm technology will be at all of those stores nationwide by the end of the year. Customers just have to hover their hand over the device to pay. This method. All right. A slowly conditioning you. Right. Revelation 13 and verse 16 and it reads it says an he calls of all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads the point verse 17 that and that no man might buy or sell save he that have the mark or the number of the beast or the number of his name all right it is already being used at 200 whole foods locations across 20 states and you can also find it in other places stores like panera bread hardware editor at TechCrunch, brian heater joins us now brian let's just start off tell us how this technology works Sure. So in terms of the actual enrollment process, the first time you go to one of these Amazon One locations, you wave your hand over it. That will enroll it you in the program, and then you associate that with a, a credit card that you have on file. In terms of the actual underlying technology behind it, it it's not actually getting a read of the palm itself, which you know I think is, is what most people expect. It's actually taking a look at the uh, the vein patterns underneath your hands which amazon is is effectively saying is um is is a way to do this kind of biometric identification without actually giving any uh identifying information away that's fascinating i mean i think anybody who hears this story immediately goes to questions about safety privacy the data that's being collected. Amazon has been criticized in the past for some of the data that, that they collect and uh, whether they have properly notified consumers about that. What and through the spirit, I want to say this too, right? Because who's to say that Esau won't use that narrative, you know, that, um, you know, information is getting stolen. You know, you got palm readers or whatever the case is. So we just got to put it, you know, put the device inside the body. That's the best way you know, for um, customers to be protected, you know, just through the spirit. So you can see kind of like they're already leaning towards that narrative. You know, the best thing to do is just just put it inside you. What is, what safeguards is Amazon taking? Sure. Well, the primary one is all of this is going through uh, Amazon's cloud servers. So this is encrypted information. Um, and Amazon has generally done a good job of of, uh, of protecting privacy through the cloud itself. Um, you know, I think one of the sort of bigger concerns around this specifically is that unlike the biometric data that you're giving on your phone, for example, that, that's stored locally on the device itself, but this is this is going up into the cloud. So like theoretically, somebody could potentially grab that data, but it's good it's it's intensely difficult. All right. Very interesting. There you go. So it's coming whether you see it or not, or whether you like it or not. Let's get that too. All right, so this is from slaynews.com. It says, World Coin CEO 
World ID is coming. Universal ID is coming. World ID is coming whether you like it or not. Right? It says the CEO, the CEO of WorldCoin has warned that a global digital ID system will be ushered in for citizens around the world, whether they like it or not. All right. The image of the beast speaks. Okay. Just like in the comments. Let's go to the comments real quick from this video because people know what's happening, man. Right. First comment. Their beast system is one step closer to all. Yep. Nothing but gradualism. All right. Palm payment technology. Let's read this again. <clears throat> it says the CEO of WorldCoin has warned that a global digital ID system will be ushered in for citizens around the world, whether they like it or not. All right. So the, the, the system, the B system is speaking. All right. This is all part of it. The one world government, one world religion, artificial intelligence, digital currency. All right, all these things are speaking right now before you. Okay? Complete control of the masses. It says Worldcoin has developed a system, right? A system, the image that it pitches as, quote, the world's largest identity and financial public network. All right, remember, you just had the, uh, the forwarding of FedNow, which is going to eliminate... You know, all the third party apps like the the, the Vimeo and Zelle and uh, uh, Cash app, you know, PayPal, all that stuff. All right. Esau, he wants his cut. So everything is going to go through, you know, the, 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 the system, the, the government. OK. It says essentially the company has created a database that links digital cash. Or central bank digital currencies, CBDCs. With the digital identity system, all right? Where it's all leading to this, all right? Your money, your passport, okay? Your uh, medical records, your, your identity, credit cards, it's all going to be tied to this, all right? Whether you see it or not or whether you like it or not, all right? As the, the, the CEO from WorldCoin stated, it's coming whether you like it or not, man, Okay? Let's read a little bit more here. It says the company has created its own form of digital money called the World Coin Token, WLD. It says linked to WLD is another of World Coin's products, World ID, right? And it was the video from a few years back of the Edomite that was saying, "Look, if you don't got no digital ID, you're not going to have a bank account." Okay, that's the system that's coming into play. It says World ID is a digitally is a digital ID system. So like your world ID is a digital identity system that collects biometric data for ind individuals and holds it and holds it in as a database that links to WLD transactions. It says WLD and world ID are connected and accessed via the company's world app. World app is, quote, an app that enables payment purchases, transfers and transfers globally using digital assets and trans so like in tr traditional current currencies according to worldcoin all right it says currently those who voluntarily surrender their biometric data receive small sums in worldcoin's tokens in return for signing up for the world id scheme worldcoin is co-founded by sam Alt altman the head of the company behind the artificial intelligence AI chatbot, ChatGPT OpenAI, man. So, hey, this thing is, whew, all right, it's upon us, man. Okay, this is pretty heavy stuff. It says, according to WorldCoin's executives, it says, World ID or something like it will soon be mandatory, will soon be manda mandatory for anyone who wishes to partake in regular society, as the, uh, uh, the article that Brothers brought out. Going back to, uh, let me see if I can pull that back up. All right. Just tying it back in real quick. All right. This is from the, uh, bear with me one second. This is from the uh, 
EU Times says WEF says CBDCs must be implanted under under your skin if you want to participate in society. Okay? Everything is speaking according to prophecy. Let's finish it out. World ID uses uh, uses iris scanners that require a person to have their eyes scanned to prove their identity, man. This is the new world. <laughs> this is the new world, man. All right, facial rec recognition, eye scans, palm readers, the CHIP, uh, CBD CBDCs, artificial intelligence. All right, it's all part of the B system. Okay. It says while the idea may sound like a dystopian nightmare that would never catch on, people in several southern European countries, notably Spain and Portugal, are simply itching to give away their their iris biometrics as proof of identity and right to a cryptocurrency transfer wallet all right so people are itching people are going to willingly partake and give their rights away to this b system let me get that too same chapter let's go up revelation 13 and 8 and it reads it says and and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb from the foundation of Slain from the foundation of the world. All right. So people are going to be willingly. They're going to be itching. They're going to be eager to partake in this new system. This B system, man. All right. This is Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 21 in the NLT. And it reads, it says, that, again, a message came to me from the Lord. Yahweh Hashem Shai, Son of man, you've heard that proverb they quote in Israel. Time passes and prophecies come to nothing. Tell the people, this is what the sovereign Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai says. I will put it into this proverb and you will soon stop quoting it, right? Because people, you know, our people, you you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, all right? You really don't want prophecy to come to pass. You really, you're really hoping that what's being said to you is, is many years to come. But we're telling you that this thing is right in your damn face, all right? It's coming whether you like it or not. The new system is here, man. All right? That new way of buying and selling, that new form of payment. It says, verse 23, Ezekiel 12 and 23, it says, Tell the people that this this is what the, the sovereign Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushua says, I will put it into this proverb, and you will soon stop quoting it. Now give them this new proverb to replace the old one. The time has come for every prophecy to be fulfilled. There will be no more false visions and flattering predictions in Israel. For I am the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai. I said it will happen. There will be no more delays, you rebels of Israel. I will fulfill my threat of destruction in your own lifetime. I, the sovereign Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, have spoken. Then this message came to me from the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai. Son of man, the people of Israel are saying he's talking about the distant future. His visions won't come true for a long, long time. All right. And that's really how our people think. But the Lord is showing you otherwise. OK, that this is about to happen in your existence, in your lifetime. Verse 28, it says, therefore, tell them this is what the sovereign Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushua says. No more delay. I, I will now do everything I have threatened. I, the sovereign Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushua has spoken. Right. And these prophecies are, are blatantly speaking. All right. So, yeah, you know, just another uh, another lesson just to put this out there. You know, you know, we're watching out for that C-hip, that digital all that new way of buying and selling is here. All right. And it's, it, and it's, it's all gradualism, slowly but surely. All right. So, hey, a lot of these camps that like we said, a lot of these camps that 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 played around with this thing that was giving false prophecies. Hey, you're going to have to uh, you're going to have to answer for all these things when it comes to pass. All right. Everybody knows where the truth is at. I pray with I pray that this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and uh, uh, double salutation to all you Akim out there laboring. A hey, Shalom.